Hey guys, it's Cecilia from the Amarillo Museum of Art, and for today's video, we are going to be doing a painting inspired by Wayne Thiebaud. Wayne Thiebaud was an American artist best known for his still life paintings of desserts. So for this project, we are going to be making a painting inspired by his ice cream paintings. So for this project, you will need a canvas. I'm using 11 by 14 inches. You'll need acrylic or tempered paint, different sizes of paint brushes, and a palette. I'm using tempered paint for this, and I went ahead and mixed all of my colors in these small containers. That way, if I need to touch anything up later, I don't have to remake the color. This part isn't necessary, but before you start painting, I recommend drawing out your design on a scrap sheet of paper before you draw anything on your canvas. Now that we have everything we need, let's go ahead and get started. I'm taking a ruler to separate the canvas into two sections and I have already drawn out the shape that I want on a separate sheet of paper and I cut it out and I'm just tracing it onto my canvas. To make it look like separate scoops of ice cream, I'm just adding some wiggly lines to separate them. Now that our outline is finished, it's time to start painting. First, I am filling the ice cream cone in with a tannish brown color. With the ice cream cone done, I am moving on to my background. To try and mimic Thibaut's style, I am directly mixing paint on my canvas while the paint is still wet. I painted the top half of the canvas a very light beige, and now I'm taking an angled brush and painting a striped pattern on top of it. If you plan on doing a striped pattern for your background, I recommend using tape to mark out your different sections. It's going to be a lot faster than doing it freehand like I am. I cleaned up all of my lines on my stripes and now I'm taking a very light yellow for the bottom scoop. I'm taking a darker yellow shade and putting that color around the edges to make it look more rounded. And I'm going to use the same painting technique for the top scoop. So I'm taking a darker shade of pink and a lighter shade of pink to make it look more rounded. And in between painting layers, I'm just taking a blow dryer to help it dry faster. And now I'm going to add the cherry on top. Since I want the cherry over the black section, I'm going to take white and draw an outline of my cherry and then go over it with the red. I'm also using the white to add a highlight towards the top of the ice cream. And now it's time to add our sprinkles. So for the top scoop, I'm taking the back of a paintbrush to make small dots. And for the bottom scoop, I'm using a small paintbrush and making dash marks all over. And the last step is to add our stripes for our waffle cone. 
thank y'all so much for watching and I would love to see your paintings. So make sure you're tagging us at Amarillo Museum of Art and using the hashtag Amoa at home. Bye guys.